Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. This is indeed Let's Talk NCLEX slash Monday Motivation, uh, brought to you by, of course, the virtual trainer. And I am super, super happy to say that Remarners University is coming. And I was just on Facebook talking to the audience there and just saying, you know, the PDF workbook, it is indeed going to be emailed to you guys and you will get several opportunities to get this pharmacology workbook it is free it will be delivered to you via email hey the title for the motivation will be very relevant to a lot of people it's just simply i hate studying i hate studying and if you're feeling like that during this time oh um then i just have a, a great a great thought for you guys NCLEX topics for today will be along medical surgical nursing care. I'm really feeling, I am really feeling medical surgical nursing right now because it just encompasses so many different topics and I can write a lot of different questions about it. So stick around. We're going to do five NCLEX questions from this particular discipline of nursing. Also, hey, Pharmacology Review, again, is brought to you by Remar Nurse University. It's brought to you by Remar Nurse University. And those dates are May 18th through June 8th, every Monday, every Monday. And if you haven't signed up for it, please do so. Sign up for it at remarnurse.com forward slash RNU forward slash are in you. Okay. Um, so welcome all the new people to the program. I do, I do, do love when we get together for these live classes. Yes, they are live. Yes. It's every Monday. Uh, we have some great motivation. Just about four people jumped on my last Facebook live and told me that they passed NCLEX. So I love the stories of passing people saying to me like nurse Dickerson, praise God. On Friday, May 1st, I found out that I'm a registered nurse, took the exam 10 times. Wow. Took the exam 10 times. And so what is your excuse? What's stopping you? What is stopping you guys? All right. Um, I love the teamwork here. I love the camaraderie because she knows for sure that her story is going to motivate somebody out there who is thinking I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired of studying. So she said she took it 10 times and passed. Pow. Shout out to Nurse Dickerson here. Um, I also got a great testimonial from a new LPN. I love the practical nursing um, students that are passing right now. Um, so Nurse Renee says, thanks to Regina and the Remar team. I passed my NCLEX on May 5th, 2020. I'm officially a licensed practical nurse, single state and ENLC. I couldn't have done it without you guys. The best NCLEX review ever, hands down. Oh, man. Uh, look, this is what it's all about. What are you going to do when you get that, that license? What are you going to say, uh, Nurse Toya? Just wanted to take the time out to thank Regina on helping me to pass NCLEX PN, all right, the VT was awesome. I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Five star review. I love that. Um, and right now, you may be one of the 6,800 <laughs> and 71s who are studying in the virtual trainer. That is, you know, that's an incredible number considering that we just released this program just a few months ago. And we just have so many people joining us. When we um, when we took the sale off of the virtual trainer, when we released it, it was $399. And that was an amazing value for all you get. Like $399 for the virtual trainer is consistent and it's reasonable. Right now we're doing a sale during Remar Nurse University. We're going to keep the sale going. The virtual trainer will be only $149. Seriously, $149, and that comes with the books and the online instant access. Oh, my goodness. And if you already have the five-star quick facts, if you already have the five-star quick facts, then that price drops down to 
two 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 one twenty nine. And we were doing we were doing uh, free shipping, but we will absolutely have to stop that free shipping. So check it out if you guys are planning to get the virtual trainer. Please get it before Remar Nurse University starts because we will be stopping the free shipping. Um, right before May 18th. So there's just a few more days of free shipping for Remar Nurse, before Remar Nurse University starts, okay? And I just wanna say, um, again, if you already have the five-star quick facts, then the price is just 129. And so right now I wanted to show you guys my five-star quick facts because uh, I wanted to say also happy Mother's Day because I am um, i didn't get a chance to do a video for Mother's Day, but happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. And I wanted to show you my five-star quick facts. I don't know if you can see it. Can they see it? Um, uh, my three-year-old took a crayon to my uh, my three-year-old took a crayon to my quick facts. And so this is the one that I always show. And this is the one that was in the office. And he came in here. And not only did he write over all the walls and the chair and everything else, he got my quick facts and wrote all over it. So shout out to all the moms who know the struggle who know the struggle. <laughs> and yes, uh, this program is available for international nurses as well. Hey, if you're an international nurse and you are not in the United States, hang tight here because I have a special offer for you guys. But why don't we get into the NCLEX questions and then I'll stay around at the end to answer whatever other questions you guys, you guys might have for me, okay? So again, happy Mother's Day. Let's get into doing some NCLEX questions. Show me. All right, here we go. First question is this, med surge, med surge. It says, a nurse is caring for a client recently diagnosed with basal cell carcinoma. Okay. Um, which of the following statements, if made by the client, require follow-up teaching? Okay. Is it number one, I will need to make sure my sun exposure, I will need to increase my sun exposure to increase vitamin D. Two, I will make sure to put on sun protection factor SPF of at least 15. Three, I will drink at least eight glasses of water a day. Or four, this condition is considered a localized cancer. So again, we're talking about the subject basal cell carcinoma, and we are talking about um, what needs follow-up teaching? So what, what statement is incorrect? What statement is wrong? What statement needs to be refuted? Okay. And so these are all the terms that you can see on your NCLEX exam, which statement needs to be refuted or followed up on. And so the statements again are number one, I need to make sure to increase my sun exposure to increase vitamin D. Two, I will make sure to put on SPF of at least 15. Or three, I will drink at least, at least eight glasses of water a day. Okay. Or four, this condition is a localized cancer. All right. So it obviously seems like the majority of the students are saying we need to follow up on statement number one. That's bothering us. It's not right. And I would have to say, let me show you guys the answer. Yes, of course. Number one is incorrect. You got basal cell carcinoma. You have to limit your exposure to the sun, not increase it. No, 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 no. All right. Because uh, basal cell carcinoma the carcinomas are thought to be caused by long-term sun exposure, UV ray sunlight. And so this is why we would tell the client to avoid direct sunlight, avoid the tanning salons, um, and not increase your um, exposure to the sun, okay? All of the other statements are going to be okay. They're going to be okay for the client to do. All right, I couldn't fool you guys on that one. Bravo. All right. Let's try question number two. Let's try question number two. Says here. 
Okay. The nurse is providing education to a client newly diagnosed with hyperparathyroidism. Okay. The nurse should encourage which diet or lifestyle modifications. All right. Look at the condition. All right. Now, what do we encourage? Number one, the client should increase vitamin C intake. Two, the client should limit calcium intake. Three, the client should increase fluid intake. Or four, the client should avoid weight training. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So I see here, oh my goodness. I see here, I see here everybody going for my distractor. And I love it. I love it. That's why I write these questions so difficultly. Is that a word? So difficultly? <laughs> All right. Mm. So let me tell you guys this. There is something very important about clients with hyperparathyroidism, and that is this. It's number three, okay? Um, clients with hyperparathyroidism, they have an increased risk for what? Because they're having all this calcium in their body. So instead of, listen, instead of telling the client, telling the client, limit your calcium, all right. Instead of telling the client client to try to limit your calcium, we need to tell them to try to increase that fluid intake because these patients are at risk for what? For kidney stones, for renal calculi. Yes. So in order for them to steer away from that issue. All right. Because that is not that is not something that that's not something that you want your patients to go through. All right. If you already have a high calcium level or propensity, you just have a propensity to um, storage calcium more. Right. So if you have the mindset, OK, I need to keep my urine clean. I need to hydrate myself so that I'm flushing out all the calcium that I need to get rid of. I will have less complications for my body. But if we tell our patient, just limit the calcium. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. So they could be limiting the calcium, but because they have this condition, because they have this condition, their urine is going to become what? It's going to become thick. It's going to become dark. It is going to have those stones trying to push through. It's going to be extremely painful. So this is, this is the priority here in telling, instead of telling the client not to eat certain foods, they need to hydrate. They need to hydrate. And so I put that on here, of course, as a distractor, okay, as a distractor. But um, this is something, this is something that we will remember, right? Hyperparathyroidism, let's go on with the fluids. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So let's try, uh, oh, let me give you guys this announcement and then I'll go back to the question. This is just a quick announcement for my international nurses. Uh, today is actually International Nurses Day. So I partnered with Worldwide Health Staff Solutions. They help international nurses from the Philippines, from all over. Um, and so I'm doing a free review for you guys who are outside of the U.S., and if you are not aware of that review, I need you to sign up for it, okay? I need you to sign up for it. So it is at healthstaff.org. If you go to healthstaff.org and you live outside of the U.S., you live in Haiti, you live in Philippines, wherever you are, that will give you access to our special gift for you. Remar has a special gift for you. Um, and then health staff, worldwide health staff also has an amazing Gift for you guys. You don't want to miss it. We love nurses. We love our international nurses. So we're celebrating you guys. Okay. So check that out. Let's go on to question number three. All right. Let's go on to question number three. Um, and if you have questions, if you have more questions about International Nurses Day 
or Remar Nurse University. I'm going to hang out for a little bit after the NCLEX questions to discuss all that with you guys. All right. Here, my friend studying with me today. It says a nurse is reviewing the medical records of a client with a perforated bowel. Okay. That requires surgical repair. Okay. The client states, when I wake up, I hear a loud rumbling in my ears. The nurse is aware which of the following medications is the most likely cause of this reported symptom. Okay. Is it amylodipine? Is it acetyl? Silicyclic acid, is it atropine or is it pioglitzatone? Okay, my goodness. All right, and this is why we're doing a pharmacology review because these questions can be super tricky if you are not familiar with your pharmacology and how it affects the anatomy. So I'm just in love with these kind of questions right now as I'm preparing for Remar Nurse University. All right, so I see the answers rolling, rolling, rolling in. I see a lot of ones and I see a lot of twos, but the correct answer is, hey, my client has this roaring in his ears. It's a rumbling. It's a rumbling sound in the ears. What could be causing that? Oh yes, number two is correct because we know that the psilocytic pain medications with that acid in them can cause tinnitus and hearing loss. Yes, aspirin, aspirin is absorbed very easily in the ear, all right? So congratulations if you knew that medication point. We're gonna go over indeed the different types of pain medications over the counter prescribed during our pharmacology review. And so you will be set on a path for greatness when we're finished. I'm moving on, I'm moving, moving, moving on. Question number four, question number four is this. A nurse is admitting a client who was treated for a bone marrow transplant eight weeks ago. The client now reports, the client now reports fever, rash, and diarrhea. All right. The client states, I feel very bad. The client states, I feel very bad. The nurse should expect which of the following. Okay, guys. So we need to figure out, we need to figure out what's going on with our patient. They have they have just had a bone marrow transplant eight weeks ago. Hmm. Now they're having this, these symptoms. They're having a rash, they're having fever, they're having diarrhea. What's going on with this patient? What should we expect? Should we expect um, the graft versus host disease? What is that? Uh, the acute viral infection, the low platelet count, all right? Or is it a vitamin D deficiency? I mean, what is it? All right, the correct answer. I like it. I like what I'm seeing. You guys are on fire today. The correct answer is actually going to be the correct answer is actually going to be number one, graft versus host disease. Take a minute and read about it. Okay, so in, in the graft versus host disease, what you see is that the the transplanted, the transplanted uh, cells begin to attack the recipient's family, like the recipient's natural or family cells, all right? And so this can cause almost an allergic reaction that is quite deadly for the patient, all right? And so this was one of the topics that we had talked about in one of my um, last live reviews 
where we actually went over the dangers of certain transplant procedures. All right. And yes, some of the we talked about we talked about it. See, some of you guys have been following me for a long time. And we talked about how um, when you're giving plasma, um, sometimes you have to give irradiated plasma, right? Because the plasma cells will attack the the recipient, all right? And so these are just little small minor principles that can have a big safety impact on our patient. So if you don't know graft versus host disease, take some time today, just Google it, look it up, YouTube it, and make sure that you're familiar with it because it is a huge safety point. It is a huge safety point for NCLEX, all right? Okay, the last question, Mm, the oh yeah was it a scary topics i think you're right it was scary topics all right so uh shout out to scary topics in october <laughs> all right um so question number five is med surge for sure let's get into a little isolation per isolation precaution here the nurse is caring for a client with shigella do we know that what all right. Which of the following is the best roommate for this client? Oh, yeah. All right. Is it the client with C. difficile? Is it the client with tuberculosis? Is it that client with influenza? Or is it the client with rubella? All right. And if you have been studying with me in the virtual trainer, oh my goodness, then this is an easy, straightforward question for you guys. No problems. But if you have no idea what is happening right now, you need a content review. That's all to it. All right. But I'm glad you guys are studying with me on this day so that you know which group you fall into. So I'm going to show you guys the answer. All right. The correct answer here. The client should be matched with, oh yeah, contact precautions for both of these patients. Contact precautions for both of these patients. And so um, let's go over, let's go over the other patients here. So if we're talking about Shingella, what is that? Does anybody know what Shingella is? What is it? right? So it is an intestinal, right? It is an intestinal disease where you have, um, you get shingles in the intestines, all right? And so you're going to get really bad diarrhea. The patient is not going to feel well at all. And so when we're looking at the other conditions and the, the patient's infectious as well, can't, it's not just really bad diarrhea, you have a contagious condition. So when we're looking at the other patients, we want to keep in mind for NCLEX, that we're gonna put similar patients in a room together, all right? Whenever you have to cohort a patient, right? Whenever you have to room them together, you wanna put the, the closest conditions together. So we know that Shingella, because it's contact, because you produce diarrhea, that um, it's contact precautions, right? You can get it from the bed, you can get it from the bedpan right, from handling soil material. So if we're looking at the other patients, then the closest um, similarity, all right, the closest similarity is C. difficile. It's C. difficile. And you can get it the same way through that contact, all right? If we look at tuberculosis, um, tuberculosis is actually airborne. And so we never put a patient who has airborne or respiratory precautions in a room with another patient all right and so i don't care what we're seeing on, on the news right now uh for your NCLEX exam we're going to keep these patients separated all right also um the patient with influenza is droplet precautions and so Three and four are also would be good patients to be together, three and four, because they're both droplet precautions. All right. So rubella is also the droplet precautions. And I just want to say something because sometimes I get emails about um, 
students who are doing a really great job studying and they'll send me a they'll send me an um an email and they'll say hey regina you said that influenza was droplet precautions but when i went to the center for disease control um they said that it was contact and droplet so which one do i go with and that's a really great question so whenever you see uh two precautions recommended for one disease you want to pick the highest one for your NCLEX exam okay because sometimes you will see um like for example sometimes you can see with varicella they'll say use standard precautions and then use airborne or respiratory precautions and so students are like well couldn't i just use the standard precautions <laughs> um no like you have to go with the highest level of precautions okay the highest level of precautions and so this is the this is the moral dilemma that nurses students have sometimes is like well if it's contact and then if it's droplet which one do I put as the correct answer? You want to go with the highest form because that's going to cover you more. All right. So I hope that makes sense. Remember, remember, guys, that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, studying should be something that is enjoyable. And it should also be a, a time where you actually feel like you've made some progress at the end of it. All right. The whole idea is not to just come on here and bore you guys to death for an hour or two hours, but it's to make you feel like, you know what, I learned something on this day. And so we are going to continue the good times. We're gonna continue the good times with our, um, with our pharmacology review that will be coming up. So get those workbooks out. If you signed up for RNU, it is coming to you, all right? Um, and then, if you haven't, please sign up for it. Yes, if you're in the virtual trainer, if you're in my NCLEX virtual trainer, then I will upload the PDF document directly to the file vault, okay? It's not there yet, but I'll probably get to it tomorrow. I'll put that in there for you guys. Remember, the pharmacology review um, starts May 18th, all right? May 18th, and it goes from May 18th to June the 8th. Uh, so some people already have their uh, pharmacology review. Some people, you guys don't have it as of yet, but you can definitely get it in the virtual trainer file vault tomorrow. All right. So I don't want any emails saying, where's my PDF workbook? If you're in the VT, it shall be there for you. But um, I just want to make a couple changes to it before I put it in the in the virtual trainer. All right. And that's one of the benefits, again, of studying in my virtual trainer is that I'm able to give you instant new information. So whatever new information that I create, I'm putting it directly in your virtual trainer so that you can stay up to date. Um, and it's just a, it's just a better experience when you're studying for NCLEX, when you know the information is new and is encouraging and motivating you. Speaking of motivation, I have this topic for our, our Mondays and it is this, it's I hate studying. Is there anybody in here that is just feeling, feeling this statement? Like you don't like to do it, all right? You don't like to do it and you just hate the idea of getting, um, you know, your books out. It doesn't matter what book it is. You just don't like it. You don't have time for it. You'd rather be on Instagram. You'd rather be watching Netflix. You'd rather be playing with your kids, whatever. It is a task to study. And I feel like that. And you guys don't know um, that every time I get on here and I'm, I'm encouraging you and I'm motivating you guys, I'm also motivating myself. I need, I need to mentally every morning pump myself up to do anything now. It is so tough. Um, it's so tough, right? You're quarantined in the house. You're around your kids. You can't focus. You're not being, you know, you're not feeling like you're being productive. And so I just had to be honest with you guys and come to you and say, sometimes you hate it. You just hate it, like keeping it real. Um, so I found this quote that I thought was really um, inspiring because it comes from somebody who's considered to be a great 
athlete in their domain. And so my man, Muhammad Ali said this. He said, I hated every minute of training. All right. But I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. And man, oh man, listen, this is Muhammad Ali, who indeed, when you think of boxing, you think of who's the greatest, like who's the greatest that has had ever done it, right? You think of Muhammad Ali. And he's saying, I didn't like the training process. It was tough, all right? It was so tough and I hated it, but he did it. And then you do, you do, you get to, you really get to, once you pass your boards and, you know, once you get that nursing license, you really do get to live the rest of your life off that license, like period. Like once you pass NCLEX, you get those letters behind your name, whether you're a RN or an LPN, you never have to take the test again. So indeed, his words are true for the nursing profession. The training is so temporary. The training is so minor. It's so insignificant when you look at the long-term benefits that you will reap. Like Muhammad Ali was 70 years old and people were still calling him, you know, the great Muhammad Ali. And so for you guys, you have to see that ambition. And for myself too, I have to see the ambition that the, the, the small amount of suffering that I, I'm doing now or I'm experiencing now is going to lead to a greater reward. It's just like, you know, my faith. It's like, okay, yes, life here on this earth at this time is extremely difficult, right? I don't like it. But the idea is that there is an eternal reward that will be much greater than what I'm experiencing now. Um, and so we have to keep in mind that it's tough, but we have so much support Everybody watching this broadcast, you're extremely blessed. Like you have shelter, you have food, you have clothing, you have internet, right? This, this amazing luxury. And so we have all of these things and we can't lose sight of our blessing. You hate the studying, but guess what? You have the opportunity, all right? So you can't hate your opportunities because somebody died, somebody sacrificed so that you could have them, all right? And that's just the truth. All right. Whether you're a woman, whether you're black, whether you're like any kind of minority group, like we have opportunities that 200 years ago, not able to have them. All right. And so we have to be willing to continue to make sacrifices so that we can have the things that we say we want. Right. And so i um, grateful indeed. Thanks so much. Indeed, I'm blessed. Yes, you are. Absolutely. Uh, we are blessed to be in this position. So I am, uh, I was so excited to be able to come to you guys today. Uh, Facebook, I, I missed out on them because it was just a, this miscommunication. They were making it harder for me to get on there. Uh, and that's cool too. So shout out to YouTube on uh, having the ability to broadcast live to hundreds of nursing students all over. I appreciate you guys. Um, okay, so let me take some questions right now. Let me take some questions. I did see some people saying um, the pharmacology review. Let me go back to it uh, just quickly. This pharmacology review is for RN and PN, okay? So it's for RN and it is for PN. When you sign up for it, you will get the schedule Monday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern time is when uh, we will be sending out this information. It'll be a video broadcast on Facebook, hopefully, um, and YouTube as well. All right. Um, what other questions do you guys have about the virtual trainer? How many hours? Um, okay, hold on a second. Okay. Um, so let me say this. Yes. Okay, so many questions. All right, so the pharmacology review will probably be about two hours every Monday. Now, I'm saying this, but you guys know when I get really deep into something and talking, um, it could be a little bit longer and depending on what kind of questions I'm getting. But plan for two hours, so 8 to 10 at night, all right? Stay up with your girl and let's study or watch the replay. Can we attend the international review? Yes, you guys can watch the international review. 
Um, I'm going to throw a watch party for it. I want you to sign up for it, okay? Because you're signing up directly with Worldwide Health. And it doesn't make sense if you're in Miami, Florida, or if you're in, you know, California, signing up for this international, you know, group. You're not international. So, yes, you can watch it. I'm going over heart. Um, I'm going over EKGs. I'm going over priority. And I'm going over uh, insulins and diabetes. So, yes, we will all watch it together. If you have the virtual trainer, get out your virtual trainer workbook, take notes, okay? I just don't want you to sign up for it. Um, I have, okay, so let's see. Um, how long does it take to ship the books for the VT? Um, VT ships in three to five days, depending on where it's going. If you're an international nurse, we do ship internationally, Thailand, wherever. Um, it usually takes about four days, three days. We ship from um, DHL. Okay. Um, I have yet to receive the PDF workbook for pharmacology. I have the VT. Is it in there? Okay, Stephanie. So um, if you signed up for it, we have been sending out emails. Check your spam folder because I have gotten three emails already saying download your VT workbook. Check your spam folder. If you have the VT, I'm going to put that document in there tomorrow okay um so i suggest you study three hours a day okay no more than three hours a day if you're studying for NCLEX, and not every day okay guys like four days a week that's it i mean you got to keep it realistic if you want to study seven days a week for NCLEX, and that's then that's fine but realistically for people who have children and people who are working uh, you just need to give yourself some breaks okay i just finished my vt oh my goodness it's so interesting okay perfect oh that's a good uh, that's a good question so um my test is scheduled before the pharmacology review should i postpone it um i would say no and the only reason why I'm saying that is because literally um, today I have gotten about seven messages saying, hey, I passed with the virtual trainer or I passed, you know, uh, thank you so much. And these are all students who have not had that pharmacology review. So the pharmacology review is intended to help motivate the people who are studying for NCLEX, like they have their test date in June and July. Uh, you know, guys, though, I try to do events that help you guys stay engaged with your studying. And um, so that's what it is. I wouldn't change my test date for the pharmacology review. I wouldn't. Okay. Um, let's see. Yes. It, you don't, when I say three hours a day for studying, guys, I don't mean you sit down and you never get up for three hours. I mean, you sit down after 20 minutes, you take a break you get up and walk. Because what happens is if we just say, okay, I'm going to sit down and study for three hours straight, it doesn't happen. You get hungry, you start eating, you check your phone, somebody calls you. And so it's more realistic to say, okay, I'm going to sit down and study for 20 minutes, no distractions, and then I'm going to take a break. And that's more effective than fooling yourself, thinking you're going to study for an hour or two hours. The brain gets tired after that. Um, somebody says, um, got mine, need to download it. All right. Uh, what time on Monday, the 18th? Sign up for the Remar, um, sign up for Remar Nurse University because it's 8 p.m. Eastern time. But if you live in a different time zone, then you're going to have to convert it. Okay. Uh, yes. Once you purchase the virtual trainer, you do have three months. You have 90 days access to it. So if you purchase it now, is it May? Yes, you purchase it in May, then that means May, all of June, July, you'll have access to it, all right? And then, uh, yes, 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 yes. All right, so that's it, okay? How do I obtain the pharmacology book? Again, we will be sending it out to you guys multiple times. Check your spam. If you have the virtual trainer, it will be in the file vault. It will be in the file vault vault. All right. All right. And if you have issues with anything else concerning your virtual trainer, the best thing for you to do is to email our Remar team. All right. Just email the team support at remarreview.com and they will help you support at remarreview.com. Uh, Dr. Reserves, we need to collaborate. Okay. All right. Um, send me an email. I don't know. Send me, I, send me something. All right. Uh, do you have first shift? Yes, I have first shift. Ah, 
It's so far away. Mark, help me. All right. My first shift book. Um, I'll talk about it. I talked about it a little bit on Facebook today. So I will talk about it um, just really quickly. Okay. Here we go. So thank you, Mark. So this is first shift. This is the book that I wrote um, to literally help you uh, dominate your first two years of nursing. So this is for RNs and PNs. This I explain the job interview process, the questions that they ask me. You guys know I did travel nursing. I have interviewed a lot, a lot of times for job interviews, and they all ask me the same kind of questions. So I put the questions in here and the answers that you need to say, as well as how to dominate your orientation period. This is actually me, um, you know, as a, as a new nurse, a baby nurse there. Um, so, you know, there's just things that you need to do before you go into your patient's room, while you're taking a report, the things you need to say, um, the traps that I fell into as a new nurse, things that I would never do today, never do today. Uh, I learned so much. Uh, and so I don't want you guys to have those same pitfalls as me. You guys know my story. It was not easy for me to be a new nurse uh, working where I had worked. So I write all about that in here, my preceptor, um, the horror <laughs> of my first nursing job. And so I just wanted to um, have another platform to share with you guys information that wasn't necessarily NCLEX based. And so first shift, uh, I love it. I love it, love, love it. Okay. All right. Um, so again, Team Remar is definitely here to help you guys. If you go to remarnurse.com, you can also instantly chat with the team. So there's, there's many ways to get the help you need. Okay. Um, somebody said, hi, Mark. Uh, don't be, don't be scared of the interviews. They are, they all are really basic. Okay. Uh, ordering my coffee, the first years were dreadful. Yeah. 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 So the international review again is, uh, Philippine time. So it's tomorrow at 8 PM Eastern, but we're going to do a watch party. Uh, we are going to do a watch party tomorrow, 8 AM Eastern. 8 a.m. Eastern? Yeah. Oh, for the United States. Yeah, okay. Eastern. Sorry, guys. So the, the International Nurse Review is tomorrow at 8 a.m. Eastern time. If you're in the Philippines, it's 12 hours different. So it's 8 p.m. All right. Okay. So actually, 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 oh, the, the price of the first shift book. Um, I don't know. It's, it's like $20, $25. $20, $25. Um, if you go to readmarnurse.com, you can find out the price of this book. Okay. I, I don't have the price memorized at all. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm going to get off here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I want you to uh, sign up for Remar Nurse University. It is going to be fantastic. It's one of my favorite events. It's the longest event that I do. Uh, so the entire month. And Mark and I were even talking about doing like a bonus session after Remar Nurse University ends. So um, just sign up for it. Check your spam. And I will be uploading it to the file vault tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right. And you'll be able to get it from there. And this will be on YouTube. Okay. So, yeah, my videos will be on YouTube. The International Nurses Review is not uh, its worldwide health event. So it won't be on our YouTube channel. You'll have to watch it on their channel, their YouTube channel. But we'll put a link up for you guys, okay? So, uh, yes, I am really excited too, Maisha, for the success of the Remar nurses. I cannot wait to see what you guys are going to do, what you guys are coming up with. I love the testimonials. Keep sending them in because they really do encourage um, other nurses that are watching who need to get to where you are. And so never be ashamed of your story. It literally will make you stand out from people. Uh, I'm just shocked the people that want to hear my story and all the things I went through. So um, first shift, yes, first shift is for RN and PN. Don't matter. Don't matter. We all, we're all going to encounter the same kinds of things as a new nurse. The nursing culture is, is very interesting, very bizarre. All right. So, um, if you, if you find that your NCLEX exam is still being canceled, what I can say is just try to reschedule as quickly as you can. We are holding tight, you know, that some of us can test. Um, but I can't really speak on the craziness of the cancellations. I can't, all right? I cannot do it. Uh, so I just have to tell you guys to continue to persist and be, be 
be prayerful, all right, about your exams and, and that you can actually sit down and take, take them, okay? All right, so remarkers.com. Let me show you guys how to sign up for um, the, the pharmacology review. It is uh, remarkers.com forward slash RNU to sign up. And if you just want to know more information about first shift or anything else, um, just go to remarnurse.com for that information. Can you produce some Remar tote bags and merchandise like baseball caps? <laughs> yes, Nurse Key. We got the totes already, right? We got the hoodies. We got the hats. We actually have quite a bit of Remar merchandise. We actually do. Give me that hat, Mark. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, Mark is, you guys know Mark loves hats. So, he always wears his Remar Nurse hat. Mostly everybody on staff has this hat. And yes, it's a winter hat, but because Mark loves hats seasonally, um, we we have hats. We do have sweatshirts. This is a Remar nurse. We have Remar gear. I didn't know you guys wanted it. This is one of my favorite sweatshirts. Um, we have a ton of Remar clothes around here. But you guys just let me know if you want us to put them on sale and... Look, this is sweatshirts. Like, we have this with God is Possible. We have a ton of Remark clothes. We got uh, yoga pants. My mom has Remark yoga pants. So Mark has Remark jogging pants on. So just holler at a girl, all right? Okay. Um, so I had a great time with you guys. I will see you guys. I will see you guys later. All right? Somebody says, yes, of course we want it. Yes, please. All right. I hear you guys. Okay. Have a great week. God bless you. I love you. I don't know if anybody told you that today, but I love you guys. And I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>